Hey guys, welcome back. We're here today again with Cyberpunk 2077, and I've got a mission with Judy to meet on the Terrace of the Clouds. So that's where we're going to head right away. And then we'll head over here. A little bit. Oh, all the way over there. Dang. Whoa. I almost killed myself there. Where in the world is this taking me? Pack of cards. Don't really need that, but I might need this. Nope. Turns out I didn't. What the heck? Okay. Didn't expect to get here this way. Hey, Judy. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Okay. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. <laughs> expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Didn't I kill... Yeah, I killed the guy that was in charge of clouds. Is that what we gotta deal with this person now? Hold on. I'll open. Where are we going? Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Okay, sure, you lead the way. I'll just be here to gun down anybody on the that happens to walk in at the wrong time. to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. But you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. I figured you did. I don't remember dealing with her before, unless she was the lady at the entrance. You have no idea how valuable oh, my time me. is. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. I mean... Yeah, you're let's go with that. Blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Yeah, it's a possibility. Violence out. You two done bickering over deadly squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. There is another. And don't get me wrong, Jude. I'd gladly sit and catch up. It's been quite a while since we last talked. But you're not safe here at Cloud. Especially not with her at your side. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. I'm just gonna leave her alone on that one. So they had us pegged from the moment we entered the door. What next? She didn't even let me make my point. Don't worry. She put on an act. Needed to show who's boss. We took her by surprise. She couldn't do anything but throw us out. She'll call soon enough and ask what we actually wanted. You might be <laughs> onto something. 
I mean, having done the whole corpo intro, I'm I'm really glad I did because of stuff like that. Where are we going, Judy? That is a long way to fall. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people. I'm gonna end up falling off this building. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. And that's debatable. Just think. Could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head. Working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow <laughs> I don't see it. No, me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. That's fair enough. So where are we headed? I'm trying, but it's not letting me. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. Who's he? It was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt. They're all safe now. They'll never even know they were in danger. Attack by bandits. I guess I'll go ahead and put away the pistol for now. What is it this time? The pipe that burst in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can you see who you're talking to? Please. What do you need? Well, we need the pipe fixed, that's for sure. Up What's up, Judy? You gotta talk to me a little bit. And you were... I feel like that's the third cigarette she's lit since we left the top of the building. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Okay. So, what do I need to do? I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Alright then, I guess that's the end of the mission. I still do not trust Bridget enough to do that. That, uh, that mission, so... Next would be... Heading over to Wakako. So what do we have going no on here, Bukako? your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. That's a good way to describe us. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is. Happen to be working together. That's all. Ah, a true gentleman. We brought her another husband. Shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. 
Caution. World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. <laughs> we know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that cig. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. Yeah. Uh huh. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No mm -hmm. threat? No. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Yeah, uh huh. Cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything. Come on, Makako. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly, my gift to you. It's free. Okada-san. What is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Yeah, we'll take it. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Of course. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. I mean, that's fair. Parade, Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. All right, At then. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Fukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Probably not how much it actually cost yet. Takamura? Anything to weigh in on? Don't rub me. Yeah. I don't want to start a fight in Wakako's building. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. All right. So what do we do? Learn something new. I will let you know. Yeah, keep low, man. Low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. <laughs> In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B. Information from. Oh, there's the call. Okay. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own. We Good. Where? Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted in cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. Kabuki? It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Uh 
Alright, so how do I get there? Like, I know exactly where he's talking about, just not the, like, appropriate path to get to there. So it's worth be so it's worth using public elevator. I think there are two. Hi, you there, mysterious stranger. You who? Yeah, you. What the? Are there any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Yeah, be my sure, guest, be man. My guess. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, okay yeah, now what did you need? On? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM. And the nicest AI in all of Night City. I'll you be the judge of that. From a wide range of beverages. Or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? No, not really. Nope, first time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? Oh my god. Refreshing? It's almost a good ad. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of night cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right. Gosh. It's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But could I ask you for a favor? I mean, you kind of just did. See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though technically I don't stock that. See what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean... I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. You know... I'm... I'm not sure how I feel about old Brendan there. That was kind of one of the weirder things I think I've run across. At least as far as, like, random... Like, that, that is up there on the random event scale for me. Why did my weapon go away? Hey V, how are you? Everything okay? How are you feeling? Just remember that you have friends, that you have me. Let me know how things are going with you. We're gonna do somewhere with that biochip thing. Listen, Saul and I have been thinking about how this how to get this family back on feet. We have the, we have a plan, but most important thing is that we might be able to help you. Uh, what kind of plan you got? Dang it! Uh, where is it? Where is her? There it is. She is. Everything goes according to plan, then 
Well, let's just say the train heist has got nothing on this. Okay. I can't believe I didn't respond to that one before. Uh, so she's got some kind of a plan. I'm a little scared. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot, no one spark is all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, uh, you are here. Yep. Good to see you, Goro. Good to see you. As it is to see you, B. I like the fact he's just kind of taken to the name Goro. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His mother. The irony makes me sick. Yeah. yeah. Smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values. And to solidify his legitimacy. He is true. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful. But the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Kumindomo. Watch your backs. No one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. He'll be protected. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Okay. I don't... I don't see anything. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why, gent? Of course. Excuse me? Way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. A parachute? You are occupied with your shady dealings. I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need okay. to break into the compound. Find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Hmm. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need. I know what you need. It is taken care of. Okay. I have an shot. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Yeah, we can pretty much handle it. And if nothing else, I can always just damage the. Uh... Let us move on. Oh god, I can't even think of the word uploading. Wait. I can always just damage the thrusters for it to keep things out from ever getting into the air. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But okay. I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. Yeah. To gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advise. Yeah, that's that'll work. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. <laughs> and now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds. I would not touch alcohol. 
at the work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Okay. What do we have in here? A max stock. Um. What's an horror diary? I think I've already got that one. But just to make sure. And let's install the software. So I wonder what method you would have used to get in here if you didn't have the strength to open that. Oh, I think I see. So if you didn't have the strength to just go in the front way, you go in here. Drops you right to that. Okay. Anyway. Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... What is going on? Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Goro, man, you gotta start taking care- better care of yourself. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything okay. that isn't local. Three, two, fourteen. Tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this sock of scum might actually prove useful. Hey, Johnny. He's a well trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Yeah. He's not on his A game, sure. Even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. And the way he walks, the look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Um. Okay. I have laid the plan. I'm guessing it wasn't One, satisfactory. We break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two. During the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Okay. Three, I get onto the float. Four. I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try this food. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this one off. I just want to see if it changes anything once I've finished off all four of mine. Nope. Well, yeah, I've done, like I've done dumber shit, run, so. Done dumber shit than this, so. I mean, I sat in the room while the Emperor got, it, got strangled. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. <laughs> now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're yeah. a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hand, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. 
Let's go then. Louder. Louder. I have decided to double the amount of our active nice. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the vast obstacle between force. himself and the complete power. The and they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before you're enough set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And he's playing what it up like it. Power look like now. Keiji longs for stability, the old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama, the liberal wing Hato, support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. All right then. Even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. <laughs> well, why did Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at the critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, oh. she persuaded her father to okay. give him a second chance. I think I kind of see what happened there. Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. As long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play, assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure. Yeah, let's head out. Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. <laughs> He did not like the food. But I noticed like V didn't comment on that at all. And I'm, I've heard her comment on a few different things as we go through. So I don't really know what to make of that. Here we go. Come. I have found a good place. I don't really care about observing, man. I want to... Wait, is this the... Nope, not the one I thought it was. Okay. We must just climb up here. Why climb when you can jump? Now, this way. I'm guessing up the bill or up the stairs? Yeah, up the stairs. Fortune smiles. Oh, no, not up the stairs. We're going to take the elevator, I guess. Because this doesn't turn us into sitting ducks. What's up? You look like you've dried off nicely since we last talked. Okay, bulletproof. Same. I don't know. I'm not trusting of this. Ouch, man, this is my home. Hate Night City that much? Mm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. 
Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, forklifts. You will have the best view on the land. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do this. Got a doorway here that doesn't look like it's armor door. Okay. Sealed tight. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Okay. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Trucks drive up regularly. So we could take one of those. No, I would prefer the direct approach if possible. Skybridge. Footbridge. But it's guarded. We will do this and I can no other way. It's gonna be the fastest. This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouse. I think I've seen everything. Do you see the three antennas? Perfect for sabotage. Once they lose communication, call comes to the. Okay. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in it. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Man, I'd rather just hit that footbridge and go. <coughs> yeah, don't worry. It's what? just the personality shard that I stole. Looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. Dude, There's you don't have to insult me or insult my hometown at every single Cats turn. Actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bakken echo. A bakken echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Could be. Line ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Awesome. Miss Home? A foolish question. Okay, fine. Be a dick about it. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... You what? What did you do? Uh, 
Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. So, we must be aware of the mech. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What'd they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. The feeling still whole? In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't yeah, I'm not judging you, man. I was corporate you first. You the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka. I saw how corps operate. Wooden roses and rainbows. But you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. I mean, she has a Some bit of a point. I wish to become a nomad. To leave <laughs> this world. Forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. No, I kind of think we need to. Do you know what I think? What's what? that? That day in Compeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. We never got a chance to really grieve. To atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. That option is also very, very Black possible. God damn. It, like. it will find its own way. Wait, the cat jumped after Johnny. We'll win. Wait a minute. Because he made the comment, just rolled off the I side of the building, and the cat jumped off thing, hmm? like it was chasing him. Oh, worse. You do not look so bad. Yeah, it's all in my head. What is this one? Oh, yeah, that. Let's see. You guys, actually, while we wait for Takamura, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Hope you guys are enjoying Cyberpunk 2077. I know today was a lot of story, and that's one of the reasons I'm going to go ahead and cut it a little early. I I don't want to make the video too long. I'm trying to get my video times cut down a little bit, and with the type of games I'm playing, it's proving to be a little bit difficult. I'm kind of having to experiment with it, see how everything works.
So I'm going to cut this one here. Uh, when, we, when I come back with this, we will be picking up right where we left off here. Uh, jumping into the Arasaka Industrial Park. Hopefully by the time we get done with that, we will hear something back from either Judy or Pan Am about what their plan is next. Um, I am still trying to avoid Brigitte. Brigitte, whatever her name is. Because I don't trust her. But anyway, if you made it this far, you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Be notified every time I put up a new one. I try to do a video a day. So look forward to seeing everybody next time. Until then, as always, have a wonderful day.